Good morning. And good morning. And today, one day late, we hate Eddie. And man, I didn't hate Eddie before, but I do hate him now because this took so long. You can sidestep either direction for this kick. For some reason, the delayed hop kick doesn't reach him, so just do a regular launch on him. This move sways back so much that I couldn't use this to reliably hit. And it works for both options that he could do afterwards. You can sidestep to the right on this one. Going left can clip you. Just like before, delayed hop kicks miss. Add the extra attack at the end to show that Eddie can't block or armor through this. Be careful on what's listed for frames. Frame data for moves that go into handstand or relax are how long it takes before they go into that stance. The fastest move in handstand is 12 frames, but it also has an armor move. The fastest move in relax is 15 frames. Don't forget that this move puts you in crouch. He moves back a tiny bit, so try a launcher with forward momentum. You can experiment on what type of punish you want to do. I recommend a 14 frame or faster, or something that keeps your crouch. What I'm doing kinda covers all options, except for one where I do get counter hit. Whether Eddie does this once or twice, it's negative 12. His forever kicks go from negative 17 to negative 15 to negative 13, and the fourth one has pushback. But each one has 12 frames for you to interrupt. But be careful since he can switch to handstand any time to avoid hives. This move is deceptively too high at the end.
I do this light punish because I can't react fast enough to see if he goes into handstand. If ended early, this move is safe, but sidesteppable. If they go into relaxed, you can punish. I'm putting this here because it's negative, but I can't seem to punish with Dragon Love even against the wall, because it pushes me back and swings Eddie back. This move can be empty, high or low. It's safe unless they go into relax. Even though you can lightly punish this, I don't recommend it due to what it could do afterwards. If you guess correctly, you can juggle all of them. This move deceptively moves me and Eddie back, and I couldn't reach him. But if he goes into relax, it doesn't push as far anymore. This requires a very slight delay, otherwise it will miss. It's important because Eddie has a launcher that will hit you if your timing is off. I left this in, but I removed other similar moves in this video that has the same punishes because this is kind of going too long. They can go into relax or a handstand, so be careful on doing this. It will require really good reactions to know what option your opponent is doing and still be able to hit them. It's negative 10, but I can't reach. Eddie slows to the ground and pushes you far away, but with how negative it is, you can dash up and launch. I couldn't punish this either, it's too far. These series of attacks from sidestep are all interruptible, but safe at the end.
Your opponent can end these early, or go into handstand without doing a third attack. So we all see this move often, it is negative 12 close, and is safe from far. I recommend a jab punish if you're unsure. I added the extra attack to show that you can punish this. Same as before, but only one low now. You can interrupt this before this finishes. This can be interrupted with a high. It's strange that this is the only move I could delay hop kick punish. This throw is not breakable. You have no choice but to duck, but at least you could juggle it. The 10 hit string did not transfer over to Tekken 7 well. A lot of the moves whiffs, and particularly the high 4th one. It's only negative 10 if the whole thing goes through. If not against the wall, you could count on the 4th one missing, or you could just duck under it. And like before, you can interrupt the last parts except the ninth hit. The second 10 hit string can continue into other moves, so it's variable, but it starts the same, so you can counter the fourth attack. Uh, sorry I'm late. I had to start over because I had to test every handstand and relax move because I couldn't just read the frame data for this one. Some characters naturally have it easy when combating the relaxed dance. They can just do the move whether it will juggle or not. Even though Dragon Love couldn't punish a few things, I still showed you because maybe other characters can.
The upper left is my playlist for the I Hate series. I excluded Lily because it was the first one and you know I didn't have the frame data at the time. The lower left is set for you to decide on what you like. And finally, on the right is my friend Julia who took the video of the last con I went to. But uh, I'm barely in that one. I'm the guy with the Space Jam jersey in the back. Thank you for watching and you guys have a nice day, okay?